All right, guys, let me tell you a little story about shooting in the rain. It sucks. End of story. All right, guys, so the video today is on the top three things you need to know for shooting in the rain. Before we get into that, make sure you check out Modular Driven Technologies at mdttac.com. First and foremost, you need good rain gear, right? This should be obvious, and I don't need to dress you when you go out to shoot at the range, but I have gone through this progression, right? I started with kind of the, the standard old rubber rain suit. I've tried ponchos. I've tried all that kind of stuff, and it just didn't work. I had to spend money on a nice set of QU rain gear in order to stay dry. And it really stems from a time a couple years back where I went to video a match uh, out at Rock Castle and um, it sucked. I got so soaked with what I thought was good quality rain gear from the outdoor store and I was soaked within a couple of hours. I ended up having to spend the money, you know, hundreds of dollars. We got, we got thousands of dollars into our rifles why don't you spend hundreds of dollars on a good set of rain gear? Really, it boils down to that. Number two is a rifle rain cover. Okay, this one is made by Coltac. You should definitely give them some support over there and check out this thing. It's fabulous, right? Completely waterproof. So you want to keep your rifle covered uh, for a number of reasons. You know, number one, you don't want your scope getting all uh, fogged up. You don't want your, your scope lenses to get rain on it because it makes it harder to see. Um, you don't want a bunch of water in your action because of the number one reason that uh, we need to be concerned about shooting in the rain. The number one consideration uh, for shooting in the rain has to do with safety. And that is getting water in your action or on your, your rounds, right? On your cases, your, your bullets, those sorts of things. You don't want to get water in your action or on your bullets because you can start to see pressure signs. No other time is it more dangerous for getting over pressure situations when you've got a guy who already runs a pretty hot load and uh, you know he's right to the max of his powder charge running that thing as fast and as hard as he can and then he goes out and shoots on a rainy day and he gets water in his action or on his bullet. And what that does, it takes up more space, right? And I don't know all the science, I'm not a sciencey guy but what I do know is it causes pressure spikes. So you want to make sure that the inside of your action, your, your ammunition, everything stays as dry as possible, right? So I'll point you back to number two, which was the rifle rain cover. You definitely need that rifle rain cover. So, top three things for shooting in the rain. Get good rain gear. It's essential. Absolutely essential. Get your rifle some rain gear. That's essential. Number one, be concerned about overpressure situations, getting water and things on your bullets or in your chamber. It can cause an explosive situation and we don't want that. So, I'm gonna switch into just a couple of pro tips and then I'm getting out of the rain. All right guys, so first little tip that I've learned over the, uh, over the years of shooting in the rain, get yourself a couple of clean, dry rags. Keep them in a Ziploc bag so that they stay dry. You're gonna use these to clean off your scope and kind of wipe out the inside of your action. I suggest separating the two of those. You don't wanna get grease or oil or nastiness from inside your action and then put it onto the scope lens. That should be kind of obvious, but I wanna point it out. So two separate lenses, one for the, for the scope lens to wipe it off if it gets nasty, one for the action if you happen to get water in there or to wipe down your bullets. Keep them in a plastic bag so they stay as dry as possible. All right, that's number one. Number two, a lot of people don't use scope uh, lens covers, like lens cap covers uh, when they shoot. I know I don't under normal conditions, but if it's gonna be rainy, I will throw them on because I can just flip those down on the ends of the scope, keep dust and water and everything out of there. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and use those at all times anyway to protect your glass, you know, keep dust off the lens and those sorts of things. I'm the guy that doesn't usually use that. My, all my stuff are tools to me, no matter what the cost was. I know I'm gonna end up replacing them eventually, so I don't use that. Don't be like me, is what I'm saying. Get yourself some lens cover caps. That'll help, especially on a rainy situation, to keep your lenses uh, a little bit clearer and drier. 
All right, last couple of things. I did uh, speak briefly about overpressure signs. The, the simplest and quickest sign that you're gonna see if you get water in your action and you start to get overpressure signs is gonna be a heavy bolt lift. So if all of a sudden it feels like it's hard to lift your bolt up, you might be getting overpressure signs. So I wanted to make sure I threw that in there. Um, second thing to consider is your rifle might get slippery when it's wet. Possibly consider wearing some gloves uh, to help with that or just be mindful that everything's wet, things get slippery when they're wet you might have trouble hanging on to your rifle. So maybe slow down, maybe consider holding on to that thing a little bit better. So um, that's another tip I can throw at you. Final thing I wanted to talk about as far as tips are concerned, rain can make it more difficult to see downrange. Be mindful of that. If you're looking through your scope and the course of fire calls for a thousand yard shot and you can barely see the target, consider safety. Consider maybe not taking that shot, guys. I'll leave you with that. Guys, remember to check out mdttac.com. Thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Leave me some comments below. Share the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's hugely important. I'm going to get out of the rain. See you later.